Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. Uh, but before starting I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to visit the website. Now I come to the topic, what is pulmonary alveolar proteinosis? You know, it's also known as PAP and uh, it's a rear lung condition and uh, this occurs when the like uh, a surfactant builds up in your lungs and uh, clogs your airways or air sacs, you know, or the alveoli. <coughs> so, uh, surfactant is a natural substance that uh, lowers the surface tension in your lungs and allows you to breathe. So, the three main types of the PAP are congenital, acquired and secondary. So, the pulmonary alveolar proteinosis has three main types. Number one is congenital which means that which is present at birth, acquired which you get after that and the secondary one. So, these are the three types. Now, it causes a mild to severe breathing problems ranging from the shortness of breath with a lot of uh, exertion to shortness of breath even while you are sitting and it can be fatal if you don't get the treatment for a severe case of it. So, it's very important uh, that you uh, get the treatment. Uh, so, that was the introduction of this, you know. Uh, the next thing is about uh, the symptoms. So, what are the symptoms? You know, it's possible to have this condition without having any symptoms. Uh, but if they are present, they may include difficulty in breathing, which is the most common symptom. Uh, coughing uh, with the mucus or maybe blood and a blue tinged facial color, which is uh, uh, the sign of the, that there is less oxygen in the body and general fatigue, uh, low grade fever and the weight loss. So, these are the uh, symptoms and the symptoms can progress to severe lung impairment and uh, respiratory failure if it is left on treatment for a long time. Uh, now, the next thing is about uh, what are the uh, causes. Uh, you know, surfactant uh, coats the lungs and in case of uh, the pulmonary alveolar proteinosis or the PAP, it develops when uh, this substance reaches an abnormal levels and blocks the uh, lung airways and this impairs the transfer of oxygen from your lungs to your blood. So, lungs are the part of the body where uh, the exchange of gases happen where the carbon dioxide is released and uh, uh, oxygen is absorbed. So, it often results in uh, like uh, labored breathing and the exact cause is unknown. So, we don't know uh, the pinpoint cause, you know. Uh, now, the next thing is about the risk factors. Well, this condition affects uh, roughly uh, 3.5 people per million. So, it's a rare condition and uh, this makes it uh, uh, rare, you know, very rare and uh, the majority of the cases appear later in life and the people between the ages of 30 and the 60 are more likely to develop this condition and men are at greater risk if compared to women. And uh, the causes uh, may be linked to uh, like uh, immune response that blocks the uh, uh, breakdown of a uh, uh, the surfactant, you know, or maybe lung infection or the pneumonia, certain cancers and exposure to toxic particles in the environment or workplace such as um, uh, silica or maybe aluminium dust, you know. So, these are the possible uh, uh, like uh, risk factors, you know. Uh, the next thing is about how do doctors diagnose this condition? Well, if your doctor suspects that you have the pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, uh, he will perform the physical examination, he will listen to your chest uh, and then he will order, if he suspects, then he will order the x-rays to look the white patches in your lungs and maybe the CT scan or the other imaging test 
to look for the white patches in your lungs you know and the blood test to check the antibodies that uh, are related to this uh, pulmonary alveolar proteinosis you know and uh, the pulmonary function test to check the uh, the capacity of our lungs to um, um, like uh, work to exchange the gases you know and the bronchoscopy is another important test which uh, uh, with the saline wash to obtain a fluid sample from the lungs okay and the lung biopsy uh, to examine the tissues under the microscope so these are the important tests uh, which your doctor will order to make the diagnosis now once diagnosed then uh, uh, you know the symptoms are so mild that no treatment is necessary sometimes uh, but the condition sometimes uh, resolve without treatment and if you have certain mild symptoms like uh, supplemental oxygen therapy may be enough to treat the condition but if you have severe symptoms in that case your doctor can wash the uh, like surfactant uh, out of your lungs with a saline solution so depending on uh, the area affected uh, they may wash only part of your lung and if uh, your entire lung needs to be cleaned uh, in that case uh, they will use a procedure which is called whole lung lavage so in this procedure uh, the lung specialist doctors who specialize in this field uh, they will fill one of your lungs with the saline uh, and drain it and while keeping your other lung uh, ventilated so one wash may be enough to clear your symptoms but you will most likely need multiple treatments or multiple washes and your doctor may also uh, prescribe the blood uh, like stimulating medications which is uh, a newer treatment uh, that has uh, improved the system uh, like symptoms uh, for some people so as a last resort uh, they may recommend the lung transplant if these uh, medications and uh, that uh, washing of the lungs it doesn't work so in that case the last result is a lung transplant the next thing is about the outlook it's important to get the treatment if you have been diagnosed with this condition and it is fatal when uh, like within five years after diagnosis for about 20 percent of the people with this condition so the cause of death is usually respiratory failure or maybe lack of oxygen in the blood and uh, for the people with this condition uh, as you know this condition is manageable with the treatment and you can live a relatively normal life uh, after your doctor diagnoses you with this condition and treats it properly so you may have still uh, some shortness of breath or maybe um, years afterward you know and you may have uh, permanent scarring in your lungs and reduced lung capacity but this is uncommon and all the people who develop this condition have uh, an increased risk of pneumonia uh, which is an infection in the lung and it can be serious thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel thank you goodbye